we are back with part two and we're going to travel to Stone Hill. I've heard the loading screens are quite quick in the PC version, so let's see. Doesn't seem all that quick to me. Although I do like these um, animations, though. Hmm. Oh. Wow. No. I oh wow. Wow. This is. What is the guidebook for this one? Stone Hill. Hidden pink tulip. Hmm, okay. Hidden pink tulip. That's probably going to take up the whole video. <laughs> hmm. Have a ram. Denied. Ah, down here. I turned the volume down a bit. Because it's too loud. Gather. Okay. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> that little kiss at the end. Okay. No hidden pink tulip down here. Oh, this is incredible. Gems, gems, gems. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> I really like the um, dragon designs and their new voices. It helps them stand out so much because I actually recognize that one from the intro. So now the dragon, these dragons are actually recognizable. I really like that. Uh, okay, so... I think I remember plenty of Spyro, so... I think we'll have too much trouble, he says optimistically. Aggie. Hmm. I'm going to guess that the hidden pink tulips on the uh, like cliff range up there, basically. And that's cool. After you've freed all the dragons, Pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm this excited about Spyro 1. I'm going to feel it all over again for Spyro 2 and 3. I can hear the thief already. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> These shepherds are like it. Silly me. Welly, welly, welly. Bonk. Uh. Seems like a lot of effort just for green and red gems. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief. I didn't mean to do that. Uh. My friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. I love his design. Wow, it's my favorite one so far. Okay, hidden tulip. Hidden pink tulip. Well, I reckon it's going to be around here somewhere. So... Prepare for a half an hour video of me trying to find a single pink tulip. Hmm. Of course, other people have had <laughs> a year to play this game, so they'll know better than I do where it is. Oh, maybe up here. No, no. I can't go up here, really. No. Bad. <laughs> Thank you, Spyro. Knowing my luck, I've probably already walked past it. <laughs> Which direction did I come from? That way. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, that might be better. Ooh. Mm. Hey. Oh, they light up too. That's, that's a nice detail. I love it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Pink tulip bow. I am a super sleep. Okay, gem, gem, gem. Gem. Yeah. Gem is out there. Boom. Sorry. Uh I promise I don't have anything against Sheen. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't think I came this way already, did I? Mm -hmm. Ah, damn. So it's three. So either a green and a red or three reds. Oh, oh, there we go. Ha ha ha. 200 at 200. Oh, the dragon. Level complete. Excellent. Oh. Okay, that bush looks a little rough, but <laughs> we'll excuse it. Ah, oh, so much nice detail. Just, it's amazing how well Spyro's aged. Oh, this is the beginning. Oh, okay. Okay. I hope uh, Toys for Bob either makes a sequel or makes a, re a remaster of um, en uh, was it Enter the Dragonfly, but makes it good. Don't just do a direct remaster to actually fix what's broken with it. Uh, thank you. Whee. Oh, that is fast loading. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so I think we will do the thingy mob, uh, something, 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 I, I forget what it's called now, in Town Square, so we'll do that uh, next time, and I will see you in part three.